imagine, just imagine, just imagine. Oh, uh, hi guys. Um, and today we're going to be making a colorful waffle recipe. A colorful waffle that runs. Okay, <laughs> well first we're gonna start with our ingredients. Two cups of all-purpose flour or almond flour, really. There's any flour, um, but I prefer um, all-purpose flour. Um, and you'll need one tablespoon of baking powder right here. Here we also have one tablespoon of sugar. So I just have the sh our sugar jar. Um, and then here, one and three quarters of milk. Sorry, that just I forgot it. Um, of any really milk, buttermilk. Just yeah, I prefer buttermilk, and I'm using buttermilk. And then you'll need two um, large eggs right here. It doesn't matter if they're color brown or white. Um, and you'll need a, a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, as I have right here. Um, a half cup of melted butter. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start with all our dry ingredients. So I'm gonna put so our two cups of all-purpose flour in our a large bowl. Uh, one tablespoon of baking powder. One tablespoon of sugar and now we're gonna mix together where's my whisk oh here it is oh guys i forgot to tell you we'll also be needing four colors of different um uh different food coloring i'm using ice um i'm using icing coloring because that's just gonna make it thicker and four pastry bags because how are you gonna make it colorful without that <laughs> but anyways let's get to whisking or whisking, no, mixing. Thank you, Mom, for stopping that noise. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. So I'm just gonna mix that up. Okay, I think I got it all mixed up. Now we're gonna make a little well. Um, I call it the well, it's when you make the circle in the inside so it, the wet ingredients mix well, more well. So now I'm going to add my buttermilk into the well. You will go. Oh, that's a lot of buttermilk. So you guys, you can see how it looks. Um, and also, I'm not going to mix it now. I'm going to add my two eggs. Oh, yeah, guys, I forgot to tell you the good news. I might be getting chicks and... Um, in six months, after after we get them in six months, they might they might actually give us eggs, and the eggs will be um, the eggs will actually be um, what's it called? It's gonna be a uh, brown, and it's gonna yeah. But we it's and it's all gonna be girls. That's the best part. But sadly, there, we can't get new chicks because you need the man, the rooster, to fertilize it so it can become an actual chick. So yeah, good news. And I'll always be baking with brown eggs, like what you know. Then I'll add my half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now our melted butter and we're gonna whisk all together. There we go. Now, I know that it might seem like a lot in your large bowl but it's because we're splitting it up in four and this could make um about eight waffles my waffle maker actually makes it the perfect circles but other people have the waffle maker that makes it like into um what's it called that makes it into like little squares and then the whole waffle maker makes four waffles but we don't have that. We have the actually full square. So if you added um, eight plus eight, um, which is um, 16, um, I think you're going to be, um, you're gonna have 16 if you have the really small waffle maker. Good looking guys. It should be a very melted batter. And now I'm gonna start splitting it up. So how we do that is, I forgot how we do that. Mom, mommy. Uh oh. Okay, let's figure this out. Oh.
Okay guys, so I figured out a way and we just tested it out with the blue and it worked. So I'm gonna do it with the rest. I'll show you how I did it guys. So I'm gonna take my pastry bag. I'm gonna take a half cup and add two of those or you could just go easy and take one whole cup. So yeah. So my max is right till the top, so I'm gonna add it right till the top. Just like that. Now I don't wanna add too much because I wanna have room for my other two. So perfect. And my the purple is my favorite, so I'm gonna add a lot of it. Wow. Oh, okay, I forgot something. Where am I gonna put this? In? The color. Okay, I'm gonna just go get a cup. Perfect. Stay. And I use my stick. I'm using the same stick though I washed it and dried it, so shouldn't be dirty. Push that away for now. And I our purple dried a bit, though it still works. Let me just see if it still even works. It included a bit of a messy progress, but um, it worked. So here we have green. So that was our green, my green and purple. Here's my blue. My mom did it, so it's very neat. And then here's the pink. Definitely heated. Now that's what I meant by my waffle maker. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna start with pink. This is gonna be a fun experience. And you make sure not to add too much. Why isn't the pink getting out? Whoa. Okay guys, so this is a bit of a messy experience too. But I'll be cleaning later. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Your phone! I'm not gonna add too much blue because then you won't have enough. Oh no, I have to add a lot of blue. That's it. Okay guys, that was a bit messy and crazy. But, but you know, it worked! <laughs> good but it will still taste good I mean yay <laughs> okay guys so we're doing our second one and we'll show you the end result if that one turns out better okay guys so we tried a second time and we were really fast and we also put it on pressure one so it's not too you know hard and brown and all that stuff so this one was much better you guys can see i sort of stuck the fork in look at it so it's like edible waffles and it looks like play-doh waffles so we're gonna make all the rest and we'll show you the taste test and now for the dish test i'm so excited to eat our colorful waffles i love maple syrup maple syrup and also you could add fruits or really anything Let's get cut in and let's get taste in. It's all pink. Make sure to subscribe down below, hit that like button, and also turn on the notification bell. Comment down below if you like this recipe. Oh yeah, and make sure to send us a photo of your recipe if you made this. Chesley.